I, yeah. I think I think that you know one of the things that we're what's happening today is that there's sort of two maybe three huge ideologies that are that have that are that are really hitting the family and I think we were really influenced by these freedom is one you know equality and individuality I would say those those three values have been so elevated in culture that it really militates against the family in various ways so so individuality is obviously can really when cranked all the way up to a 10 can really create a huge tension for trying to live life in a in a community which is a family is a community and freedom is also another value that if you're if you're trying to maximize freedom and that is sort of like the impulsive side of your life family is not very friendly to that kind of freedom and i think that one of the things that a lot of people have been pointing out lately is that freedom always exists to create something one of my friends was just posted on twitter yesterday that that when you look at something like you know your blood your bl blood that is maximally free will flow out of your body and <laughs> make you dead but when it's channeled properly in other words and this is kind of what i really like about the framing that you're describing when it what's actually channeled within a circulatory system and in other words if it's if it's working according to its design it actually it actually makes it it it, it serves something greater so freedom mm -hmm. always has to serve something greater when it's cranked up to the top value it's a disaster so mm -hmm. so as a family we had to figure out and this is where a lot of the child free movement a lot of the, the things i think that are hitting families today you know we've had to deal with those and i definitely growing up in the west coast man i was like man it's not easy to you know family kids really function badly when it comes to freedom and yeah. then equality of course i think that one that value in terms of trying to trying to say has god created the family is there a design for husbands and wives sons mm -hmm. and daughters in a family that are that's more role specific or is equality essentially equalizing everyone and saying that we're all we all have identical roles in the family and so there's parent and child maybe those are the only two distinctives but there's not a son yeah. daughter wife husband or father mother distinctive so and all of that just you know in the early stages of our family so people listening to me might think i always kind of thought oh about roles and you know right. a family in this way could not be further from the truth i i was <laughs> um in my 20s and early 30s none of these ideas were intuitive to me they all Again, I grew up in the West Coast. I I did not. I was not used to these to thinking in the way the ways I talk now it was all something that was. I was trying to recover from from ideas that I had really adopted from the culture and the way yeah. that I was trying to recover was studying scripture. That I would say that's one thing is like just it's difficult because we're asking families to not just function well, we're actually asking them to recover the design of family and. That, that is really rough. I mean, imagine you might, if you have a blueprint that's really well designed and you're, you're working, everyone, everyone is working on the same team to build the blueprint according to its spe specifications, then that that's hard enough, right? If you're trying to build a house and you're like, oh man, I've got really good blueprints, great architect. I'm, you know, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we all are on the same page, but imagine trying to build a house where you're fighting about the blueprint, where you don't have a blueprint. I mean, so everyone sort of like has intuitions and most of our intuitions are basically going to build something that's going to fall over by design. <laughs> that's where I yeah. was. And I think that's where most people were. And man, yeah. that's, and that's why, you know, that's, I would say is the heart of our whole ministry is like, man, yeah, let's talk about that stuff because that's that if you're, if you're not, if you're not functioning from a, a proper blueprint, then obviously things are going to go sideways quick.